Hi, this is Max. Some of you have been waiting for the next turbo. I know because you sent me more designs. So let's look at a few, form some bad opinions based on how they look, stick them in my janky wind tunnel, and have our opinions thrown back in our faces by data. You know, the scientific method or whatever. All right, so we have four designs. I would normally cap an episode at three, but someone went for extra credit and sent two designs that I really want to try. First, we have a design sent in by a subscriber named Abe. They call this blade Acquaintance 34. Uh, apparently this is a reference to a joke at work. I don't know. I'm going to be running all of these airfoils at 9 degrees of pitch, if the pitch angle hasn't been defined. You can find out why this is in the video over... Next, we have a familiar name, Lloyd, from the channel It's and Bits 2. They sent over another variant of their Rimkick 7 airfoil. This one isn't quite as chunky as the previous blades, and if you're not aware, the previous design currently holds the record for maximum power. The video where this happens is right over... Next, we have the designer who sent me two interesting turbine designs. Dan. You might remember Dan from when he destroyed my wind tunnel. A link to that video here. Or here. Or here. Or maybe here. <clears throat> Dan currently holds the record for most destructive as well as most powerful drag type turbine. I'm not sure which I'd be more proud of to be honest. Anyways, the first one looks like an airfoil. It's pretty thin. That might make it really efficient. And lastly, a proper lens turbine. My previous attempts at this blade were not impressive. I think Dan has attempted to fix my indiscretions. <clears throat> I'm just using super glue to assemble Dan's turbines. Let's test these things. First up is the Rimkick 7. Next is Abe's. And Dan's airfoil. Oh, that's that's a bit wobbly as I pick it up. Um, I'm kind of having second thoughts on this one now. The glue is cured. I'm a bit worried it's going to blow up. So, did that look like it was running backwards? I kind of feel like that was going backwards. I don't know. I was really worried that one was going to blow up. I'm glad it didn't. Next!
I'm starting to think this is on purpose. I'm just kidding. I think next time I'll adjust some print settings and we can try this one again. All right, let's try it again. Hold on, what the heck is that? That is the cardboard stick of stability. It brings stability to anything it touches. How? Well, I wrote you something that might help you understand. The stick of stability, yeah. Now that that's clear, back to the test. but it's just gonna blow up. Noise. Okay, so for this group, it looks like in last place is Dan's seemingly backwards spinning flat blade design. In third place goes Abe's Acquaintance 34. In second place, the wonderful exploding lens 2 blade by Dan, which had a pretty nice power output. And first place goes to Lloyd's newer, thinner rim kick 7 blade. Now for the overall. I've added a new column indicating which scores are from the new generator setup. In third place, overall, is the new thin rim kick. Dan's Lens 2 blade comes in fifth, Abe's Acquaintance 34 in 13th, and Dan's flat blade rounding out the set in 16th place. You know what's really amazing? Dan was right. His lens blade saw a 200% improvement in power output compared to my terrible design. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like on the video. If you have any ideas for me to test, leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more. Okay, thanks. Bye.